So stepping outside of the comfort zone I'm talking about. Um, I wrote this piece because a few weeks ago I was having a conversation with my brothers. And uh, jokingly, I said to two of my brothers, I said, uh, well, I said to one, I said, what if I was the gay brother? And my youngest brother said, I mean, I might come holler at you every now and then. And my other younger brother said, I wouldn't holler at you at all. And I was like, wow, like, I think I've loved you through way worse. And, uh, and I started just thinking about like the whole dynamic of heterosexual black men and how we deal with the topic of homosexuality and how um, it's, just, it's just really interesting to me because it's never talked about. It's like kind of like a you know, hush hush thing in the black community. So I figured I would uh, write something about it. <laughs> My mother gave birth to six boys who've all grown to be masculine men. Masculine as opposed to feminine and men in the sense that we're no longer children. My father was around at different points and always taught that man was an acronym for maintains actions naturally. I'm still trying to figure out what the fuck that means. <laughs> like most things in life, there's no handbook on which to lean. I mean, I could make a checklist for manhood going something like, Car, check. Crib, check. Takes care of the wife and kids, check. Job, check. Integrity intact, check. Saying I return and I really come back, check. But I find it's hard to relate to some brothers. It's like manhood is a foreign word to some brothers, yet the language is constantly spoken. But how can we really speak as men when certain topics aren't open for discussion? For example, what if I was the gay brother? What if out of the six of us, I had played with our sisters more? What if my natural walk happened to come with a slight switch or my creativity was expressed through making Ebony's hair more slick? See, I've grown to learn that we are grown to be, not to attempt to be or pretend to be. My sexual orientation shouldn't hinder me, nor should you ever want to censor me. But in reality, even writing a poem like this is taboo. Cause easy, if you do that joint, all the game is going to be trying to get at you. False. When are we finally going to learn the true definition of unity and see that just because brothers ain't getting physically lynched, there's some type of immunity from discrimination. Discrimination is discrimination and intimidation is intimidation. So what are you so afraid of? Say it. When did we start picking and choosing when and when not to be moral judges? In the rally somewhere, there's a sign that says, God hates the gays. Yet clearly in the Bible, it says, God hates divorces. And the man holding the sign is working on his fourth. Black, 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 black. Complete silence after the fourth shot. Some brother just murdered his childhood friend. Why? I don't know. Maybe there's some justification. Maybe he had sex with his girl and maybe that was retaliation for snitching or coming up short on dope money. I don't know, but I'm willing to bet my next three checks it was over some dumb shit. When did we become moral judges? Surely there's something better to come with. Well, you say, it's not natural. I could agree, if you're talking about me. Because I've never been attracted to a man, so I don't understand what it is to fight urges, or growing up being called a faggot, or having to lead a double life because the very people I love would disown me if they only knew. So having no understanding of that, and having never physically met God to have the chat, I'll scratch that argument off as bullshit. Because what is natural is hypocrisy. And the easy way to hide your own truth is to make mockery. Because really, how is it only okay when you're in jail? Hmm. <laughs> All I'm saying is that there are far greater issues we need to deal with. I've been 28 years old and ain't met a saint since. I've been 28 years old and I've been here 28 years and ain't met a saint yet. I've read James Baldwin's writings, ain't had a complaint yet. So what's the real concern? Gay marriage will confuse children when they'll already have to learn in one of the most evil, economically challenged and confusing times anyway. Let's not get too high on our horses, brothers. And don't get left behind on yet another minute issue. Because in a flash, society can switch. And being the toughest Tony could no longer be the shit. I mean, it really could switch. Like, not raising your kids could certify you as a bitch. It's already like that in my book. Huh. Huh. 
There's some masculine and straight brothers that I would never go to war with. My pen is mightier than these cats who all swore this. So man, let me think. Maintains actions naturally. Job, check. Crib, check. Making sure you handle your biz, check. Job, check. Integrity intact, check. Saying I return and I really come back, check. Yeah.